right, let's go. Positive, encouraging, Caleb or Scott and Kelly. That was the one song we were looking for you to be. <laughs> Notice we one let it keep running. Of Anybody else want to do Project <laughs> Chowder on me for an, another 20 years? Because you will go down. I will make sure you go fucking crazy for what you've done to me. You guys need some help. They're already giving to Caleb. This is what I've uh, I've loved seeing. Uh, friends like Michael and Erica and. Oh yeah, <laughs> DJ Vibe bumping their gifts up by 40, 50, 60 a, 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 a month. Some of them now bumping up to give one hundred and fifty dollars a month, like Eric has just done. That's amazing. Oh my god! Thank, Thank you, you so you much. So much. Klove.com. Eight hundred five two five five six eight three. We're Scott and Kelly, and this is Klove's Pledge Drive. And maybe you haven't had a chance to listen over the past few days and can't figure out why we've got the Kool Aid voice happening. Give us a demonstration. Oh yeah. Why there are phones ringing? What in the world's going on well we're listener supported so everything you hear happening on your radio every day it happens because people like you support it so a couple times a year we invite you to be a part of the family to step up and, and if god is calling you to support this ministry man would you join us and right now is a great time to do that we've got this one song leadership challenge and trying to give a chance for calls to get through because i yeah. know people are trying to get through well, right now because it's such a huge opportunity looking for you to be one of nine businesses or individuals to make that leadership investment of a hundred dollars a month into the ministry of K-Love and the first nine instant finalists for a beautiful cruise to Alaska that Scott and I get to give away in just a few hours on our show. What's really cool is seeing how many friends have jumped up to lend a helping Rachel. hand by bumping their gift up. Rachel in Platteville, Colorado just done that, bumping up by 80 bucks a month. Uh, bumping up by 90 bucks a month. It's Laura in Kirkland, Washington. Wow, thank you. Then here's Carol, brand new listener in Philadelphia saying, I'm going to do an easy gift of $100 a month. This is the, the house oh, yeah. where... Yeah. Now the thing is, right that's now, the house right there. California. Thank you, my God. Will be told. You will go down for together. every fucking lie, <laughs> little bitch this of 2010 when I was doing good and going to school, the to be one and they decided they were going to pay that little fucking bitch to do what, so that she can be a sorority girl right there, so she can be a sorority girl and live in that house. Is that what it was? You were a little sorority girl in 2010 while you paid some heroin addict to fucking keep me busy. So that I couldn't get my degree in 2010, right? Well, guess what? I got my, I got two of them. I got a paralegal and a criminal justice and I'm working on my bachelor's. Just because you, you already done it before I did because you stole half my life don't mean shit. It means you're going to go to jail for the rest of your life. Many more of you are going to be stupid. Peace. Be safe.
Not me, little bitch. I don't give a shit who you think you are. Truth will be told. Yes, it will. to no Phi Theta Kappa. I don't belong to nothing. Been there, tried that. The bitches wanted to try to steal my life at doing it. That's just like they probably stole my PACER freaking certificate that my teacher was supposed to give me. I have a PACER certificate that I was not given and I have a, a, a right to get into the um, paralegal uh, program of uh, the A, A, A and X. Oh, what's that? Paralegals. Because my GPA level was up high when I graduated from for my paralegal degree, to where I was able to get into that society, paralegal society. Oh, how do I pronounce the name? It's it's a um, foreign name, but. It. But instead, I think they threatened my teacher for her to get into it. Okay, she, they allowed her to take my parent, my PACER certificate, and the, um, oh fudge, what was it? And my national, uh, the National Honor Society in at the Gloucester County College mm -hmm. for paralegals, the Honor Society for paralegals, the A X A E X. It is. It's an A X. Is really, no, not that. That's not it. Never mind. You know what I mean. So I guess they threatened my teacher all these years for last since because she was my very first one from uh, 2014 that I talked to all these years and people has lied to her and twisted that truth out and now hopefully she can go back and all those people that pretending to be me she can take down okay all those people that threatened her or told her lies they need, she needs to take out. She needs to say enough, enough is enough. Because what happens? A, a, a lawyer is supposed to not, if, if you're gonna commit more crimes, if you're gonna commit more crimes, you need to be stopped. The lawyer has to disclose all your information. Oh, poor Bambi. The lawyer has to disclose your information. You cannot commit, keep committing crimes and get held and, and be held a lawyer and hold a lawyer. Now you can be defended, but any crimes knowingly that the lawyer that you're talking about is going to be found out. You can't keep committing crimes. Praise God. Peace be with me and my children. Amen. Be safe again. For the love of God, I am and will always be faithful to you. Praise God. Amen.